Hi, this is Mark from LongIslandWatch.com. Today, the Formex Reef has officially hit the store. Uh, by the time you're watching this, probably about four or five days ago, four colors, uh, all on a bracelet. That's the way I got them. Um, extra strap and a clasp, but really cool. We will check them out. Uh, this is kind of like their really first modern foray into a dive watch. It's a really cool looking case, very well designed. Uh, it's got all the good stuff um, that you would expect from a finer brand, including a, uh, a chronometer grade movement, a chronometer certificate, a COSC uh, certificate. Um, and, uh, yeah, we'll check out a whole bunch of other stuff. I am sporting the Wave Dial Samurai, the Islander, which um, by the time you're watching this, it actually might be back in stock. And then my pre my pre-ceramic sub, ta-da. Uh, talk about a good dive watch. Let's see what Formex, uh, let's see what Formex has for us today. So we've got four Formex reefs coming at you. All the same, yeah, for the most part, except for some coloring differences. Um, I got a blue, a gray or a silver, a black, and a green. Um, I guess, I mean, I, you know I love my blue, but no particular reason. I actually think the silver is pretty cool, too. We'll start with the blue one. They're all on bracelet. I got them all on bracelet. Um, and they are simply stunning. Uh, so much of the work is done extremely well. As you know, as I move it in the light and you see the, the facets of the markers, almost like a Grand Seiko polishing, you see how they just light up? Beautiful. Totally beautiful. All of them are going to be the same price at $17.90. And again, that comes on the bracelet. There is an optional, I'm looking for it. Oh, it's right in front of me. Rubber strap and clasp, which I'll go over in a minute. Um, let's get into the design of the watch. It's a 42 millimeter watch. Um, I'm kind of, that's kind of like from here to here. You'll see it's got these, uh, the crown guard that sticks out here and kind of mirrored on the left for symmetry. Uh, I guess uh, a little Nautilus shaped, if you will. Uh, 42. It's uh, 11 thick, 11 and a half thick from here to here. Okay. It's 47 on the lug tip to lug tip. You see, I can there. It is a 22 millimeter lug width, straight end. Their bracelet is phenomenal. It is solid end link. It is solid link, held together with screws. Nice sign clasp. And their clasp has a little micro, a hidden micro adjust underneath. You set a little lever, you press it down, it goes out, and then you can push it in. So no futzing with spring bars or anything to get it uh, to the fit that you want. It is a, uh, a 60 click, very nice 60 click. Unidirectional ratcheting bezel, okay? I'll get it back to zero. Uh, the bezel insert itself is ceramic, uh, zirconium oxide. It's engraved by some crazy process that takes, I don't know, what was the number? It takes an hour of engraving to engrave the, uh, the insert like this. Uh, it just looks beautiful. And then the machining on the sides of the bezel for great feel, you know, for, um, for spinning around. It just really digs into your, uh, it digs into my gloves so well. I mean, look at that. Absolutely no issue in, in doing the turny turn. Um, but then look at the numbers. See you how know, they're polished on the top, matte on the bottom. Matches the dial, at, uh, kind of an ombre effect. It fades uh, from a very light color in the middle um, to a dark blue on the outside. It is Solita SW300 um, movement, but it is chronometer grade. So. Every reef comes with a COSC certificate. I have shown these on camera before. It's um, got the brand. It's got um, serial numbers on it. It's got the deviation rate on it of the actual movement that's in this watch. So there's a lot of traceability there. So you'll know how it should perform. Let's see if I got everything else. Obviously a flat sapphire crystal. Um, Enter reflective coating. You can see pretty much in the off angle, the um, the crystal more or less disappears. Right. Let's kind of zoom in a bit and look at the markers. Again, the loom we'll get into in a minute. Formex with their updated logo, Reef, which is the model name. 
It is indeed a chronometer, water resistant to 300 meters, double um, double gasketed case back, date at the six, and dare I say that the date background actually, whoops, actually matches the dial. I do believe it is blue um, with white writing. So nice, very nice um, little touch of detail there, sorry. Unscrew the crown, beautiful, beautiful threads. Sealed very nice, you can feel it rubbing um, against an O-ring gasket. Hand, um, hacks, hand lines, and then one click out will change that date. There you go. Screw down and turn for your full 300 meters of water resistance. Um, I think that's pretty much everything I want to say about it. Uh, I do love it, it is really nice. Let's look at the silver dial. They all have that kind of, um, that faded dial look to them. This is like a, uh, whoops, come on. Hello. Uh, the silver gray dial. Again, light to dark on the outside, but look at the bezel. Look at that ceramic bezel. You would swear it's steel, right? It's not. It's ceramic. That really looks sharp. Really, really sharp. Black writing on the dial here to make it a little more visible. Man, that is cool. Uh, let's go to the all black. Black dial, black bezel. Um, oh, I guess on this one, did you notice that the date itself, the background of the date is silver? Isn't that, isn't that nifty? And then on the black one, it is black. Again, little little point of detail that don't go missed. I think it's a, a, a really sharp detail. Oh, you know, I don't think I gave you a good view of the case back. There it is. Formex logo in a little ocean. Uh, a bunch of their markings, Swiss made, of course. It is a Swiss made watch with a Swiss made movement. Pretty cool. And then the last one is green. Very nice. Very dark green. Again, a kind of a faded dial. Green bezel insert. And yes, a green date window um, as the background. Pretty slick. Um, I want to show you, I did tell you about the watch and the price. I want to show you the strap that they make for it. So in true Formex fashion, it is a very nice strap. Um, high technology, if you will. The strap goes for 79 bucks. It's a two-piecer, and then you there is a clasp uh, for $98. It's one of their carbon fiber micro-adjust clasps. Really, really nice. Um, but check it out. So Formex on the underside and on the back side, uh, excuse me, on the front side that is exposed. You see you have the holes and a, a nice kind of waffle pattern on it. Um, but look at the little lever here. You push this in, the spring bar tips retract. See that? So that's how you put it on and off the watch. Super easy to do. So you have to remove this guy, which again has the same little lever. Super easy to do. Pop it off, pop this on. And then for the clasp itself, um, See, the strap is, has two sets of holes. You, if you need the shorter one, you would cut this off and use the shorter one. Um, it's a deploying, right? Let's uh, hit, hit the buttons. You guys have shown, have seen my deploying videos before. One end tucks under, double prongs go into here, and then the other end is lodged in there. Um, but here is, again, their really cool micro adjust, which you've seen in the past. When you press this button down, the, this can slide in and out. And that's how you get your micro adjust with a strap. When you're wearing the watch, um, I did it backwards. When you're wearing the watch, when you, if you depress it, you can actually, I guess I gotta do it from this angle. When you press, there you go, I can slide it. So if it's on your wrist and you just press the clasp together, you can make it a little bit bigger or a little bit looser, whatever you want to do. And then it's then it's fixed after you let go. Really nice, really well done. Um, I guess while we're here, we'll do a loom shot on one of them. So you can tell it is BGW-9. It is glowing nice and blue. They're all BGW-9. Uh, the markers, the hands, and the uh, the seconds hand. Looks really nice, easy to read. Uh, you know, Swiss, uh, Swiss Super Loom looks great. So here it is on my six and three quarter inch wrist. Oh my goodness, it fits beautifully um, with that tip to tip of just 47 and the 42 on the case. It really, it hugs the wrist. Look how it goes right down below the bone, above the bone. 
Very nice, very comfortable, very well weighted. It is a weighty watch. Um, it's not light by any stretch because um, of the stainless steel, but it is it's very evenly weighted. I feel like when it's laying on my wrist, it doesn't it doesn't want to flop around, even though obviously I have to take a bunch of links out. Ooh. Um, still very comfortable, very comfortable to wear. So I think that'll do it. Uh, this has been Mark from LongIslandWatch.com showing you the uh, Formex Reef Collection. Please like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel if you have not done so. Questions or comments, put them down below, and I'll be sure to address them as soon as I can. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.